Hi, my name is David Nell and I'm a clinical application specialist with Philips Ultrasound. In this video, we'll be exploring 2D image optimization on the Epic CVX Premium Ultrasound system. Firstly, as is standard practice, I'll begin by reducing the depth, moving the focus and sector width as appropriate for my structure of interest. Now, let's start with the fundamentals. Gain can be found on the 2D rotary dial. It can be increased or decreased to optimize the blood pool and endocardial border definition. Compression can be found on the rotary dial under the touchscreen. By increasing compression, more shades of gray are used in the image formation, resulting in a softer image. In contrast, reducing compression results in fewer shades of gray and a more black and white image appearance. Time gain compensation or TGC controls are found on the control panel. By optimizing TGC settings, it is possible to cover depth-related attenuation, enhancing near and far field structures. 2D optimization settings are found on the left of the touchscreen. This optimizes the 2D scanning frequencies to allow for patient differences. There are five settings. Moving towards H-Res will optimize higher frequencies and moving towards H-Pen will optimize lower frequencies. Gray maps further adjust the levels of gray within the image. There are five gray maps, with one having the least gray fill and five the most. Gray maps can be optimized for user preference. X-Res can be found just beneath gray maps on the touchscreen. X-Res settings optimizes image sharpness to user preference. There are five levels with one the sharpest image and five giving a more speckled appearance. Changing chroma maps may enhance the user's ability to view an image. There are various settings to choose from and these can be altered to the user's preference. The resolution speed rotary key provides optimization of temporal versus lateral resolution. Moving towards resolution increases the lateral resolution and reduces the frame rate. Rotating the dial towards speed progressively increases the frame rate and lowers the lateral resolution. Auto scan automatically and continuously optimizes the 2D image brightness at the default gain and TGC settings. Scan automatically optimizes the 2D image gain and TGC settings when selected. Image Boost works by boosting returning signals from the myocardium and other cardiac structures while suppressing unwanted clutter. It is possible to save your desired image settings. This is done using the Save Preset button. Give your preset a suitable name. This will be saved under the Transducer tab. Your desired preset can also be set as default to help reduce scanning time. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this video useful. If you would like more information about anything covered today, please contact your local Philips representative who would be happy to assist you.